Tonight, we honor Ronald Wakesnorris, staff bandmaster and territorial music secretary. His impressive 24 years as staff bandmaster and 32 years as music secretary are the longest in our territory's history. The Wakes Norris New York Staff Band is renowned for marked achievements in travel, use of modern media, innovative concert programming and repertoire, and musical excellence on stage and in recordings. While guiding these, he has renewed and improved the band's role as a model for musical ministry. Within the territory's music programs, he has impressively led Star Lake Music Camp to new heights, expanded our music publications, and established significant musical and spiritual formation programs like Star Search and Future All Stars. Here is a man who has nurtured several generations of rising Salvationist musicians while maintaining a highly active role in his own corps. The cameos that follow are a small sample of many music leaders who would join us in highlighting some of Ron's significant achievements, as well as his impact on Salvation Army music. Ron, greetings from uh, London, England. It, it's a real pleasure to uh, add my good wishes to the many I'm sure you're going to receive at this time. You've upheld the very highest standards with the New York Staff Band, a, a group that uh, I'm still in awe of, and uh, you've really done a fantastic job with that group, with your creativity, your innovation, and exciting uh, projects that you've undertaken. I do wish you well in, uh, in retirement, although I have no doubt at all that uh, you'll very soon be finding new things to do. But uh, pray God's blessing on you in retirement, and uh, continue to give thanks to him for a, a very good and strong friendship that we've sustained over many years. Blessings to you, mate. All the best. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. I'm really happy to be a part of this tribute to Ron's career, and uh, I'm proud to be his friend over the years, as uh, we met back in the early 1960s, and I've watched his uh, development as a musician, as a uh, Christian leader, as an innovator, lots of creative ideas uh, in all the work that he's done. I see his legacy being uh, active long beyond our years, and putting into place young people that will be leading the programs of tomorrow. I wish you all the best, Ron, in everything you're going to be doing, and uh, proud to be a part of this tribute to your work. Hello, I'm Bill Himes, and I'm happy to bring words of tribute to my dear friend, Ronald Wakes. Norris. I've always had trouble speaking Lithuanian. Well, anyhow, for 24 years, you have given sterling leadership to the New York staff band, and for 32 years, you've been a secretary in the music department. I think that should have read territorial music secretary. Seriously, Ron, it has been a great honor and a joy to work with you over the years in our shared passion for music ministry. And I wish you a long and happy retirement as you now have more time for family, friends, social networking, and of course, social security. Happy Medicare to you. May God continue to bless you, Ronald, whatever your last name is. Ron, it's my privilege to bring greetings from the Central Territory upon the occasion of your retirement for the New York Staff Band. I thank you for being supported to me as a DMD of 34 years. We work together in many ways to design worship arts retreats, youth band convocations, and particularly one of your first loves, Star Lake Music Camp, where we were able to develop the choruses, the vocal school, as well as the leadership tracks. Thank you for your leadership, your friendship, mentorship, and long-standing partnership in ministry to the Salvationists of the Eastern Territory. Hello, Ron. We work together in the Territorial Music Bureau. I could barely keep up with all the innovative ideas you had to inspire and attract young people to music ministry. As fellow New York staff band members, we traveled the world together, meeting many Salvation Army music leaders and composers. In those years, I saw your love and concern for Salvation Army music in all its forms. Ron, my th three wishes for you are these. May you always remember how God has used your life and example to influence so many of us. May you know that your influence will continue beyond this day. 
and may you find your place of continued service in the coming years. God bless you and your family. Greetings Bandmaster. What a delight to contribute to this video montage. It was my privilege to serve alongside you as Executive Officer of the New York Star Band for three happy years. And there I witnessed firsthand your focus, your discipline, your deportment. We appreciated so much your commitment to the tried and the trusted and your willingness to explore the new and the innovative. God bless you, Ron. These are special days. And this I can promise you, he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion in Christ. God bless you. Well, uh, Ron, we come at last to your retirement. Your musical standards have been admired throughout the Bass Brass Band world. And I personally thank you for your constant friendship and support through the years. I send both you and Carol Lee my best wishes for a long and happy retirement. God bless you both. I want to extend my thanks to Ron for his friendship and support during my tenure as bandmaster. I was in the band for a period of 27 years and it is always good to see growth in something you have been connected with. And you, Ron, have certainly shown that growth in the band and the music department. I look forward with great expectations for the future. Ron and Carol Lee, may God continue to bless you in the next chapter of your lives as you seek new opportunities to use the gifts he has given you. Ron Weeks Norris is one of a kind. As a teenage cornetist at Star Lake, his originality shone through. Later, I asked him to be the conductor of one of the Star Lake bands. He responded beautifully. As staff bandmaster, he extended venues on both sides of the Atlantic. He reached out to youth to develop the music ministry of our next generations. Leaving the position of staff bandmaster brings a bittersweet feeling, one that cannot be described, but I'm sure the Lord is smiling as he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Ron's impact on Salvation Army music has been profound. His musical pilgrimage has ranged from early years in New England with various core, divisional bands, and music camps, to being the first modern divisional music director in Boston, and then joining the Territorial Music Department and New York Staff Band. Ron's career in New York expanded to include acclaimed roles as the Staff Band's cornet soloist and deputy bandmaster. The rest of the story underscores a man maturing musically and spiritually throughout a journey that led to the highly accomplished leader we salute tonight. We heard earlier from Salvation Army leaders from around the world who shared how Ron Wakes Norris has impacted the music ministry of the Salvation Army both within and beyond the Eastern Territory. Throughout his career, Ron has also made a profound impact on the lives of many as a spiritual leader, a mentor, and a friend. From his leadership at his home corps in Montclair, New Jersey, to his behind-the-scenes encouragement of musicians taking part in numerous music programs throughout the territory, Ron has made a far-reaching difference in the lives of young and old alike. Here are a few of many dear friends that would like to share with us how Ron has helped make a difference in their lives. Hello, Ron. I can't believe this day is finally here. I just want to take a moment to say thank you you have been an incredible encourager and mentor to me these past 15 years. I am eternally grateful to you that you took a chance on me back in 2002 and brought me on your team as an editor and your composer in residence. Thank you for pushing me artistically and thank you for nurturing me spiritually. Today is bittersweet for me. I will miss you, my friend, um, but enjoy every moment of retirement and write that book we've talked about. Thank you, Ron, for everything. Love you. Hi, Ron. Sorry I can't be with you in person this evening, but I wanted to take this opportunity of sending my best wishes for your forthcoming retirement. We've known each other for a very long time now, and you've been a tremendous encourager and advocate for composers over the years. 
as I'm sure Dorothy and others will agree. I value our friendship and look forward to catching up again with you soon. Love to Carol Lee and have a great evening. Ron, I really appreciate the opportunity to say thank you to you tonight. From day one, you have supported the arts in our territory. You've supported me. Thank you so much uh, for being so generous and sharing your experience, your wisdom, your ideas. You know, recently I heard someone say that they had been saved at Star Lake Music Camp. And I began thinking how many more, how many more lives have been changed because of your obedience to the Lord, because of your commitment and your hard work. How many lives have been changed? That's your legacy, Ron. Well done, friend. Ron has been a, a tremendous part of my life and a, a great support to me uh, growing up all the way back to uh, when he gave me corner lessons. Since that day, he's been uh, such a, a tremendous support to me in everything that I do. Uh, he moved me from a back row corner player to soprano, and I didn't think I could do it, but he did. And he hired me to be the Territorial Contemporary Music Director. He, he saw something in me uh, that, that most didn't, and uh, that's been a common theme uh, for our relationship. And it's been so uh, wonderful to be under his leadership and someone that uh, I can always come to for advice and, and help and support. Thanks, Ron. Hey, Ron, Norm Raymond from Ohio. You remember me, man. I was eight, you were 11, Camp Wonderland. You were the principal cornet player for the Hillcrest B-Band. Great times, even when we were kids at Wonderland. By the way, I've watched it all these years, man. You had great leadership skills even at age 11 and I knew it would really morph into something wonderful. You have a great life, a wonderful witness, and I can't tell you how much the Raymond clan really appreciates you, Ron Wakes Norris. Have a great time, have a great day. Love you, man. Hi, Ron. We first met when we were young campers at Star Lake Music Camp, and as adults we served on the staff for many years. You have been an inspiration to me, both musically and spiritually. I'm proud to call you a friend and a colleague. I wish you and Carol Lee all the best in your retirement years. Thanks for all that you have done. Congratulations, Ron, on your retirement as Territorial Music Director and New York Staff Bandmaster. I want to thank you for all of the years of God-inspired music you've produced as the leader of the staff band. I also want to thank you for all of the wise advice, encouragement, and insight you provided me through the years, and especially when we worked together in the music department and sat together in the New York staff band those many years ago. I pray God's richest blessing on you and your family as you uh, enter honored retirement, and I look forward to many more years of our friendship. I've been blessed to know Ron as a friend for over 40 years. The same passion that Ron has brought to his music making and his leadership of the staff band, we saw firsthand that he brought to his responsibility as the Corps Sergeant Major of our Corps. He cared for our people well, and he cared for Sharon and I as the Corps officers well. His constant encouragement over these years as we've had various appointments has been a source of real strength to both of us. And we've really sensed with Ron and Carolee that they don't just consider us friends, but they've really enfolded us into their family. On this special day, we just want to say how proud we are of you, Ron, and the tremendous man and tremendous leader that you've become. God bless you. And now it is time to say farewell to Ron as our territorial music leader and staff bandmaster. He has served the Lord honorably and as a member of the New York staff band has marched behind its flag throughout the United States and in 19 countries around the world. The Salvation Army flag leads us into battle against the wages of sin. It is a symbol of the faith for all salvationists. It is, in fact, an emblem of victory. Tonight, we honor Staff Bandmaster Ronald Wakes Norris, and as a sign of our highest regard, please stand and salute as the current colors of the New York Staff Band are unfurled and are presented to our esteemed Staff Bandmaster Ronald Wakes Norris. Thank you.